this foolish to this ground. Good morning, prayer. Monday. What a way to start a Monday, right? Looks like a lover's quarrel. Well, did I say happy Monday? Happy Monday. Did I do the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did that already? Okay, normally I don't start off that way, but guys, you see there was some action going on. I couldn't believe it was taking place right before my eyes. So, yeah, because I ain't the one to be catching action like that and just be on live and trying to embarrass people or nothing like that. But that was just too much going on on a Monday. Like, how could you be that angry on a Monday? Like, so I'm not even prepared for y'all, to be honest with you. I don't even have my shoes on. I, I, I came in real premature, people. So... Just work with me. Just work with me. So, I mean, I can I can get started even without the coffee since I don't already went live. I know today, lately we've just been kind of talking about where you are as a person, what you into, what you're doing, how you feeling, is you happy, checking on your mental. That's been the basis of everything since you guys took your test. And now I want to talk to y'all. You know, we talked before about, um, oh, damn. When you get a minute, go to my YouTube channel, Shakenya, and hit subscribe. Please look at some of the videos. And if you see something that you like, like if one of the videos hit home for you, if if I spoke truth to you, if I if I said something and you end up doing what I said to do and it worked for you, any any of those videos, please share it. And also, they got this little star thing going on here. Like, you can do some stars and give me some money. And, and, and I can get some coffee. And I can um, keep this show alive. <laughs> you can support me in that way. I know a lot of people be like, look, and they still together walking across the street. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I told you it was a love of squirrel. I knew it. I knew it. See? Oh, it's still going on. Oh, fix it, Jesus. I'm so sorry to even bring this to y'all. But it's happening. <laughs> like, it's really happening. Right here, right now. So, that's not the basis of coffee and conversation. So, let's get back focused here. So, late, a few videos ago, we talked about breaking generational curses with your, your children. Things that's been going on in your family for generation after generation that you wanted to eradicate and you use your children to do so and we talked about examples i think i gave one um my sons not having fathers in their lives good morning stephanie how you doing but yet and still they are fathers to their children you know and it's been a couple of years that a father has not been present in our homes growing up as children so that was one and then i talked to you guys about you know me as far as having a child at 17 my mama had me when she was 17 i'm thinking my grandma might have had one of my aunts or uncles at 17 you know what i'm saying i'm not sure but I know that was a generational curse that I, I said I was going to stop. And I did. So neither one of my daughters had children. Hey, Cynthia, shout out to Flint, Michigan. Cynthia, I done started off wrong, baby. I ain't even got out the car yet this morning. <laughs> Girl, it was a little lover squirrel as I was pulling in. So I got that on film. I know normally I don't do that type of stuff, guys. But it's Monday. I can't imagine anybody being in that mad this early in the morning. But I guess it's, it is what it is. So... I started off wrong. I ain't even ready for y'all, Cynthia. I ain't even got out the car. I ain't even got, I got started, but I ain't get started for real. So, we talked about generational curses. So, today, man, I hate I missed you, Cynthia. I'm going to have to catch you next time you in my city. But we some hardworking women, both of us alike. So, you was down here on business working. <laughs> so, I love it. I love it. But we got to connect, sis. I said I was going to vow to do that this year. I'm strengthening relationships. And then when people I run into, when I say, let's have lunch, I ain't just saying that being fake. Like, I literally want to have lunch with these people. So, yeah. 
So, guys, I'm going to go on in here so I can get started the right way. I do know generational curses is going to be the topic for today, even though I didn't put it in the description. And I know we talked about breaking generational curses with your own children, but I know I want to touch on you breaking generational curses with other people's children. <laughs> what I do? Thank you. Right. Hey, baby. Right, good morning. Right, Thank you, baby. I thought I did something wrong. Yo, she said I look cute today. So, guys, let me open up the good book. Thank you, Miss Lady. No, she do uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I know, Miss Vicky, stop. <laughs> I know you do, Miss Vicky. I feel like it ain't even zipped up. I got to check one of my sisters. Oh, did you use the dance on the Miss Vicky? Miss Vicky says she used to dance. Period. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you got to throw me off, Miss Vicky. I can see you doing the shimmy. I can see you doing the shimmy, Miss Vicky. <laughs> I see it. I know when I first had a mission, I had to do something that was good. Oh. I went to the uh, Millie's Cocktail Lounge on Finkel. Oh. I met three guys the same night named John. Oh. <laughs> Oh Lord! I think I picked the wrong one. You did you? <laughs> yeah, I don't like, I don't like that name. I don't date nobody named. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, let's get back. Let's pull it back in. Hey, Herman, how you doing, boo? Hey, who is that that just checked in? Hey, Doreen, Doreen, I'm gonna call you as soon as I finish coughing conversation. I see now, Mr. Paul. So, guys, today talking about generational curses, breaking them, and. We talked about it before, but you breaking it with your children. But do you break it with other people's children? Like, how many children have you poured into and raised outside of your own? And even if you don't have any children, how many children have you raised and pretty much poured into and guided and mentored in your since you've been here on this earth? <laughs> I'm just asking because by you being involved in other children's lives and grooming them and being part of their growth and development, you might be breaking generational curses in their family and you don't even know it. I know. We got to take it outside of our family. When it's that generational curses, we got to take it back to your generation. So take it outside your home and bring it outside in the community. So let me see. How many generational curses have you broken with your own children and how many have you broken with other people's kids? Have you broken them? Um, let me see. I'm trying to stay on task, people. Like, how many people have you honestly say you helped, reached out to, gave some helpful resources to, loaned some money to? Somebody came to you and said they was trying to start their business. They need some startup money. You sitting on bread. You done did well in life. You doing good for yourself. Cheers. You got bread. And that's a drop in the bucket for you to loan them that money to get their business started. Did you do that? Did you help them? How many people have you gave a ride somewhere to help them get to school or work or help them get somewhere where they can better themselves and get to a better place in life? How many people have you allowed to sleep on your couch? Hey, Bill, how you doing, boo? Mwah. Many, I believe you, Doreen. I do. You are a woman of God, honey, and I love you to the core, so I know you have. Who else? Generational curses are really generational teachings. That's right, Bev, it is. So I'm just wondering how many people give back? How many people actually help the next man? And how many generational curses have you broken outside of your own home? And that's that's what I want y'all to kind of think about today. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Do, how, how many children have you rescu rescued from foster care just within your family? Like when I worked for this foster care agency, it was so many children of color in foster care and I couldn't imagine none of them having any family to go to. Like how many of you know about a cousin or a relative who, who probably have a drug problem or, or something happened and they probably lost their kids in the system? How many of you have taken the time to go back and try to bring that child into the fold and raise them with the other children? That might be a generational curse that you might have started. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. So. Just today, why don't you do some soul searching, a little self-reflecting. I look cute today, y'all. <laughs> a little self-reflecting. And I just want you to get on a mission of helping. So if you have not, if you think, sit back and think about how many people you helped, and if you come up with none. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not judging. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you because some of you feel like just taking care of your own kids and breaking generational curses within your own home and just making sure your kids is all right, not living the life that you live and living better than you. That's okay, and that's okay. It's not okay, but that's because <laughs> you've done your part, I guess, because you've done that. But. Think outside the box. Think about other people that might need your help and your assistance, your guidance, your mentorship. Think about the generational curses that you can possibly break by reaching out across the board and helping others. So that's it, guys, for today. I'm about to go to the office. I'm going to come back on live because of where I work at. It's a little complex over there, and it's a lot of black-owned businesses over there. So I'm going to go live just so y'all can see who over there. There might be some services or something that you might need, and you can go in and patronize those people and spend some money with your own people today. So, y'all, I'll be back. Doreen, I'm about to call you. I love you. Y'all, Doreen, my auntie, say good morning to Doreen, y'all. <laughs>